did you get in here? Oh yeah? Okay. Alright. You know, back when I was doing this uh, kind of as a living, I would never think of putting pictures of my lunch, pictures of my cat, Instagram pictures. I never think about putting them on my, uh, let's call it my work camera. Anyway, I don't think it should be any different in today's world of iPhones. So I decided to make a secret shortcut and it's right here. Come on along. I'll show you how it works, but you can't tell anybody. Welcome to Apple EDC. Fortunately, Apple gives us everything we need to keep our work photos apart without having to carry around a spy cam. Here's a quick demo. Let's say we find ourselves in Berlin, at Checkpoint Charlie, of course. We pull out our phone and we use our photo note to grab a photo. We select that photo by tapping Use Photo, and then it will ask us if we want to keep the full resolution or a thumbnail. And we choose thumbnail, and then we decide to make it a new note with extracted text. We go ahead and name that note appropriately, and then we decide we want a new tag. We type in the tag, and there's our note. We have our thumbnail image, our time and date, our extracted text, and our location, and our tag all in our note. We receive an email from a colleague and that colleague sent us a different view from Checkpoint Charlie. So we tap on the image, then we tap again to expose the share menu. That's the little box with the arrow. From there, we choose photo note. It asks us if we want to delete the original photo. We'll say no for now. Then we'll select thumbnail and we'll select extracted text. We decide to look at our most recent notes. So we tap our location note to open it up and we get a message that tells us that our photo has been copied to the clipboard and our note will open next. And our note opens up. We decide where we want to paste our new information and then we just paste it. There was no location information included in that email image. So our shortcut indicated same. When I was at the location earlier today, I just took a picture with my iPhone camera and it stored it in the photos. Here it is here. So let's select the share menu with the little square and arrow down in the lower left corner. From there, let's select our photo note shortcut and it asks us if we want to delete the original. We say yes and it confirms. Then all I need is a thumbnail. So let's select that and add extracted text. Now let's pick from our latest notes. There's our meeting location note. We get our message that our photo was copied to the clipboard and that note will open next. There it is. So let's just find a place where we want to paste our latest information. How about right there? And now we've pasted it and we have all of our information in the same note, ready to go. Now, if you think this would be helpful for you, check the link in the description to download it and stay tuned to see how to install it on your spy phone. There's also links in the description for ways to support this channel. And of course, a thumbs up and a subscription are always appreciated. Thanks. Okay, from the link in the description, tap that and it's loading the shortcut. There it is right there. It's called Photo Note, and it tells us that we can call it with Siri and that it appears in our share sheet, which is the little box with the up arrow. Let's add that shortcut to our device. Now I already have it, so I'll just say keep both, and I think it'll call it Photo Note 1, and there it is right there. Now, if you don't see it, it's possible that your phone has slipped to the gallery view, so just make sure you click on the library view. There it is. If you'd like to rename it, tap the three little dots. Then up at the very top at the right, there's a little down arrow. Tap that, then tap rename, and you can rename it to whatever you want. You can scroll down and edit to your liking. There's also links to the wallpaper and to a home screen bookmark. Now, if you want to add it to your home screen, click on that same little down arrow, 
tap add the home screen choose your image so if you'd like to use the bookmark image tap image and find where you've stored it there it is it of course it'll be wherever you've downloaded it to on your device i'm going to use that and as you see it's added it right here and if we click on it we can grab an image This one's a little more involved than usual. It uses the share menu along with some variables and it makes use of nested actions to test for proper data and to offer various options. It's broken into three general sections. First, there's image acquisition and processing, then adding info to the image, and lastly, bringing it together into a note and clipboard item. We use six variables in the process. The first one is enabled when we turn on the share sheet. It's called the shortcut input. Then there's photograph. It contains our image. Next is text from image. This is generated by the extract text action. Next is location. This is either the location or a message if no location is available. Next is description. This is text that describes the type of image, the date, and the time. And lastly, content. This contains the image, the description, extracted text, and location information we've collected. We start off by tapping the information icon at the bottom of the screen and selecting Show Share Sheet. That enables us to receive images from the share sheet and makes running this shortcut an option available from inside the share menu of other apps. Now on to section one, image acquisition and processing. After we dismiss Siri, we do a test to see if our shortcut is being run from a share menu. If not, we take a photo and set the photograph variable to the photo we just took. We get the current location. Now on this one, I like to use best precision. We do another test to see if the current location has any value. If it does not, we substitute a message and set the variable location to that message. Otherwise, we set location to the current location that we retrieved above with the get location action. Then we display the home screen. Otherwise, we assume our shortcut is being called from the share menu. So we display the home screen. We get location info from the shortcut input. We do that same test again to see if there is any value in the location. And then we convert our shortcut input to JPEG, maintaining high quality and retaining metadata. We do that in case our shortcut input happens to be a raw image. Now we set the photograph variable to converted image. Then we offer a menu. If we want to delete the original photo from the Photos app, or if we want to keep that photo in the Photos app, then we end the menu. Okay, now we've come to the end of this big old initial if action, and this results in a photograph variable that is either an image we took or the image received from our share menu. So on to section two, adding info to the image. Let's extract text from the photograph variable for later possible use. Then we have another menu where we can choose if we want a full size photo or a thumbnail. If we use full size, we set the variable content to photograph. Then we make a text container with the description photo and the current date and time with short and medium formatting. Then we set a variable called description to that text container. Now, if we want a thumbnail, we resize that photograph variable, and then we set the variable content to the resized image instead. We make a text container with the description thumbnail and that current date and time. Then we set the variable description to that text container. We end that menu. Then we add the description variable to the content variable. Now, we have a variable called content, and that contains our image and the description info we made. Next, we choose from another menu in case we want to add that extracted text. If yes, we make a text container with description extracted text. On the next line, we place the text from the image variable. Then we add this text container to the content variable. If no, we don't do anything and we end the menu. Now we test location variable for content again, and if not, we make a text container with the description no location info available. 
Otherwise, we place photo location info in the text container followed by the location variable and we end that if. Now we add our if result to the content variable and at this point we have the content variable which contains our image, associated text, extracted text, if any, and our location information. That brings us to section 3 where we bring it all together. First we copy that content variable into the clipboard. Then we choose from a menu on how we want to deliver our content. If we want a new note, we ask for input to get the title and description of the note. Then we create a note using that ask for input we just got and the content variable. We put it in the notes folder and we want to make sure we are not opening the note when this runs. Then we choose from a tags submenu. If we want a new tag, we create a user selected tag, add it to create note, and then we open that tagged note. If we want to use an existing tag, we add a user selected tag to create note, and then we open that tag note. If we don't want tags, we just open the create note. Then we end that submenu and we stop the shortcut. Now, if we want to pick from the latest notes, we use the Find Notes action. Then we choose a note from that Find Notes action. We show an alert to same, and then we open the selected note. If we just want to dismiss at this point, we show an alert that reminds us that our content is on the clipboard. And we end that menu and we stop the shortcut. Okay, I hope this one helped. Thanks as always for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.